Who's introing this, you or me? I don't even know what we're doing, Dustin. Oh, perfect, then I guess I'm introing it. What's going on guys, it's Dustin Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. We're back with Fuller. Hello. I just have to take a moment and like what, let that sink in. But like, it's been a hot minute since we've done one of these. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a, a long time. I'm pretty sure I remember how to do it though. Yeah, so we're back on another episode of From the Gallery, in case you forgot, we're gonna rate some gallery ads on a All scale right. of one to 10. One's not so great, 10's pretty awesome, right? Pretty simple stuff there. Right. But today is special. 90s trucks only. Oh baby, yeah. bringing it back. <laughs> yep, so this one is all 90s trucks. The guys took a look, picked five of their favorite trucks and we're gonna rate them. All right. Before we do that, you wanna add your truck to the gallery for the chance to be featured, you can do so. Customoffsets.com forward slash ad. We also got a giveaway. You had the t-shirt on, but you put a hoodie on, so yeah. I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> can you see it? It's there. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Either way, you guys can get entered customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. Let's get right into the video. Up first. I know this guy. A truck you probably are familiar with. A 1999 Dodge Ram 1500, Archon Off-Road 2414s, Amp Mud Terrain Attack, MTs, and a 3513 and a half. And it says a rough country five inch, but I don't believe that. Cause I know, yeah, well, he's got a total of seven and yeah, a half up front. Yeah. Cause he's got the two and a half inch stacked spacer on the mm -hmm, front. Mm -hmm. uh, Pro comp leaf springs on the rear. Did a whole bunch of powder coat and that sunburst gold. He's got two inch spacers all the way around. Uh, we did a, a competition here where we measured who had the most wheel outside of the fender. Oh, yeah. And Coda blew us all away Hands by down. a hot minute. This thing's dope. I love this truck. And it is clean. I mean, this is fresh paint, yep. fresh powder. Chrome wheels. I mean, it's it's pretty sharp. It's and in I that deep blue. Historically, have not been a huge fan of all the Ram trucks. Granted, I do like the new ones that are that are out now, but especially the '90s one. But this truck, I I do like this. It just hits that 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 Viper blue. Just, mm -hmm. mm, I dig it. Roll pan in the back. Yeah, super clean. Super. And I forgot the race seats. Yeah, which is wild. Two not, buckets. Not just exterior mods. He's got stuff going on inside too. Wild. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, nine. I went with eight, and because it's the first truck, and I don't know what else we're gonna come up with. Okay. <laughs> Trying to stay conservative. I can't, I can't go too high right off the bat. That's fair. I dig this thing. Maybe a lot of it is my personal bias, right? Because I know how much work has gone into this thing, but yeah. I dig it a lot. It's pretty cool. Don't, Coda, if you're watching this, don't be mad. I said, hey, okay, <laughs> if you got a problem, text me. We'll work it out. <laughs> up next is a 1992 GMC K1500. This one is also on 2414 Lincolns, but he's on Venom Powers and a 35, 15 and a half. So a nice square yep, yep. sidewall set up there. And this one also says he's on a uh, rough country six inch, which you can see because of the big old the skid plate in the front there. Yep. I dig this thing. Um, very white on white, very period correct build, I would he's got say. The, he's got the newer high country mirrors on there with the uh, LEDs oh, yeah. built in too, yep. I saw on the first photo there. Light bar, is that behind the grill or in the grill? I think it's in, like the grill I think yeah, is cut. trimmed. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. which is interesting. That's the first time I've ever seen that on a, an OBS Chevy like that. What's he got going on? Is that like? Well, you know, part of me wants to think that it looks like a monster decal, That's but I'm, I'm... I'm scared to say that. Maybe it's in the notes. Said he got the truck completely sanded down. So he did all the paint and body work, resprayed it. Then he went after lighting and cosmetics and finally did the lift kit wheels tires, so. Yeah, that explains how clean this thing is. Again, yeah, exactly. this, like, this looks like flawless paint. I'm guessing he's Stepside. not in Wisconsin. No, no way. Yeah, Stepside is, is a little bit more of a rare bird, I would mm -hmm, say, up here. You mm -hmm. don't see a lot of those. Are you a step side guy? I'll explain that. <laughs> uh, I think I'm ready if you are. All right, yep. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, six. Seven. Six? Yeah, I, I'm not a step side guy. So I'm not either in a lifted truck application. I think this thing would look sweet slammed Dumped. on its absolute yeah. So there's that, but this is a super clean example. Yeah, that's and true. And I, I like the white in the chrome. It works really well. Um, even though it's the new like high country style mirrors, 2015 plus high country, I think it works on these older square bodies because those mirrors are so square. Correct, yeah. Yeah, it fits with the rest of the body lines. Up next is a 1997 Ford F3. 350. This one's also on Lincoln's, but a 22 by 12, so a little bit smaller. I'm not doing any of it. Oh. I didn't I didn't even pick the truck. <laughs> uh, this one's on Toyo MTs and a 37, 13 and a half and a four inch rough country lift kit. Uh, aftermarket headlights, they're super duty front bumper. Mm, you guy. almost you almost don't pick up on it. It on looks this truck. like it belongs there. Yeah, which is pretty wild. Same thing on Jared Franco. Like the new super duty bumper on there just looks like it's supposed to be there. I dig the, he's got the 7.3 badging Kinda on like the side. like how they used to do the limited. Or, or the, the platinum, platinum or yeah. The Davidson. Yep, a little carbon fibre action, you dig know. Dig it, dig it. Had to trim a piece of plastic on the bottom of the bumper. I assume that's, yeah, the, the lower sure, valence yep. there, which is pretty normal. A lot of guys just rip that off. The old four-wheel drive valence. It's super long. Yeah. Or you can get the two-wheel drive valence. Like this big. <laughs> he's got 
Let's see, 140 horse race tune and a fuel system. So this would be a seven three, yeah, seven yes. three, yeah. Yep, it still makes like 360 horsepower. <laughs> Not a lot by today's standards, but yeah. enough. That was the thing with those trucks is like they they were so reliable because they just didn't make enough power to tear themselves apart. You know, I dig this thing. Otherwise, 12 wides on a four inch lift is is respectable. I think it's pretty, yep. you know, minorly stated. So I think I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Three, two. One, eight. Ten. Whoa, ten. what? Bring it out to 10. This is a 10 for Dude, you? If I was going to, I love these trucks. Really? Yeah, hidden fact. Um, if I was gonna build one, this is probably pretty similar to what it would look like. Okay. I love all the tinted out glass. Yep. I love the dark uh, headlights. I love the painted grill. Uh, black, white, simple. He's got the milled accents on there to tie in with the chrome. He's got 13 and a half inch wide tires on 12 inch wide wheels. Yeah, it's a little bit like, bigger. I like this thing. Regular cab too. I don't know. I got a, I got a soft spot for regular cabs now after owning one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a regular cab guy, but I mean, I respect it. It's again, clean truck, hard to find them like that up here. So mm -hmm. obviously got some time into it and I absolutely dig that Super Duty front bump right there. Let me hot. know if you want to sell it. I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> up next to the 97 Silverado C50. 1500, so two wheel two drive. drive. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fuel Mavericks and a 20 by 12, Nitto 420 S's, so the precursor to the 420 V, of course, yep. and a four inch rough country lift on this one as well. Painted to match on the on the grill, yep. a separation piece thing. What do you call it? I don't know. The, the split bar? Grill, sure. grill bar? Yeah. Split grill bar? I'm not really sure. Either way, that's painted to match. The yep. bumper's painted to match. Mirrors are painted to match. Billet inserts in there. Yep. Mm, love clean, it. Clean, nice, clear headlights. Yep. That makes a huge difference yes. on these old trucks. Yes. If you've got yellow, like fogged out headlights, swap out the headlights and man, it makes a world of difference. Yeah. Another regular cab here. It, it's interesting because it's Roll it's fan. lifted, but it doesn't look that big. Mm -mm, you know, like no. the, it, it reminds me of a street truck, but it's just popped up a little bit, you know. It's just got some stance to it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Polished rear diff cover down in there. You can just kind of see it peeking out. LED taillights, no window tint though. And Chrome Mavericks. That, so I saw a Chrome Maverick at the, at the warehouse the other day for the first time. I say, it, you don't see a lot of Chrome Mavericks. It's a completely different wheel. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. Like everything that I thought I knew and loved about the Fuel Maverick was gone. What is this? I'd it actually like pull the order slip and oh, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Pretty clean truck. Again, looks super good. Did some trimming on it, right? Rear wheel spacers just to flush the rear end up on that one. So pretty modest build, I would say. I think I'm ready. Okay, me too. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, seven. 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 Yep. Clean, especially like we don't see this clean of trucks up here. No, I definitely mean, not. Once in a while, but rarely. Definitely not now in the middle of winter. <laughs> um, again, not necessarily my taste, but I can appreciate somebody keeping a truck this clean and, and it looks sharp. Yeah, it takes a lot of work to keep a truck of this vintage that clean, mm -hmm. so. And he's, he's got the small details, you know, that really make it. Yep, exactly. This is the last one. All right. 97 GMC K1500, so four wheel drive this time. Where are the 15 inch Steelys and the 38 inch Boggers? I don't know, don't yell at me. This is where they belong. But we got fuel hostages. If you, you got, got fuel hostages, hostages baby. you got, you got fuel, fuel hostages. hostages. He is on. I don't, what is? What is that? Um. I don't. Tires. Yeah. I. Interesting. I mean, they make wheels. Yeah, I knew that they, they make <laughs> tires, but I don't know what an FCLI is. Is that II? FC2. FC2. Google. It's the FC2. Those are a 305.55, which is, I have to look, because I don't recall, it's a 33.2 by 12. I was gonna say, pretty similar to 33. I knew it was somewhere in there. Um, but he's on a six inch rough country lift and a three inch body lift. Roll pan, custom steps, bull bar, 442 style hood, long tube headers. Probably sounds mean. Oh it's wow, that's clean, clean. on the inside, yeah. yeah, like the frame rail and stuff mm -hmm. is all cleaned up in there. He's got some fender liners, which I think those have to be custom made. I don't think you can order fender liners for these trucks. I bet I I do not know. Paint to match on the uh, uh, the fender flares there. That's a knobby tire. Yeah. Like the the mm -hmm. sidewall is super. Hello. It's a broken. Super knobby sidewall on that tire. This is a, a dope color too. I dig that like deep blue. Dude, I'm seeing a, a little bit of repetition here with the, the roll pan bumpers in '90s trucks. Mm -hmm. They do go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it just flows into the, the body styling, right? Yeah. So definitely, uh, definitely an interesting build though. Yep. I am. I think I'm ready. All right. Three. Two, one, six. And I feel bad doing it because I know how much work went into this thing, but it's just. I just want to see, I think, bigger tires. A 305.55 yeah. is, is not a lot 
for these trucks. And you can fit some pretty pretty beefy setups on here. And especially when you have that aggressive front bumper like that. Yep. I just, I feel like I've seen so many videos of these things thrashing <laughs> mud bogs, you know, Florida or wherever, Alabama. Yep. And I just, I need to see some big old- Like a 15 by 14 well. welds or something yeah, yeah. and some, some 37s, yeah. I'm, I'm But at the it. same time, this is so clean. Could you do that? No, you can't truck? thrash this no. truck. No, you know? no, absolutely not. No, I agree. I think for me, it's a very, again, period correct. It looks super good. 17 year old Dustin in 2010 would think that this is, this is it. 17, 2010, let me do the math. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm old. I know, it's okay. It's fine. Right. There you have it, guys. There's another episode from the gallery. Thank you so much for watching. Fuller, thank you for being a part of it. Anytime. It's, uh, it's good to have you back. I'm excited. Having yeah. a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Remember, if you guys want a chance for your truck to be featured, you got to add it to the gallery. Customoffsets.com forward slash add. John's going to kill you for doing that. <laughs> All right. With that, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.